Hey everybody, uh, coming in with a little bit of a different video. I wanted to get this on camera just in case it helps anyone else out there. The channel is Cody in progress, so this is gonna be another little bit of a different progression for me. With everything going on right now, uh, not getting into it, Michigan is in a stay at home order. So we cannot hire any photographers to come out and take pictures of our little peanut here. So we actually have to figure out how to do it ourselves if we want any newborn pictures. And that's something that we do wanna have. We wanna be able to have these photos and look at them for the future. So we're getting a little bit creative. And I'm making this video today, first off, just because it's a little bit different, uh, a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Uh, but also I wanted to hopefully help somebody in the future that might be Maybe they just wanna make do their own pictures. Uh, maybe they want to save a little bit of money and not hire a photographer to do it. Um, like I said, this is not our first choice. Ideally, we would have had a photographer come out and take a picture or take pictures of Scarlett within the first couple weeks of her being alive, but that's just not how it ended up. So we're gonna get things set up so that we can do it ourselves. So let's take you on that journey. Okay, so this is the nursery and just to kind of show you all what we're working with here. It is definitely not gonna be professional photography. Um, we don't have studio lights or anything like that. We are simply in her nursery. I've got this mirror here. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it. I was gonna try and do some lighting. Um, but this is just an old comforter that we have. And it is over a broom handle and two dining room chairs that we have in our house. Um, and again, just, a, just an old comforter. It's the closest thing to all white that we have. And then drapes down there in front of it, I have this, uh, the ottoman to the rocker that we have. Um, and on top is this little light. I purchased it off Amazon. I was honestly going to be using it for videos and something to add a little light. Um, but it's going to work out for this. And this is really the only light we have outside of the overhead lights. We're just getting a little bit creative uh, with all of her outfits, her pillows. Um, we've got this bucket that we're gonna be putting her in, in a basket as well. Um, but all we're doing there is just filling the bucket with a pillow or blankets so she can be propped up on it, just like that. And that's all we're really doing. A real do-it-yourself setup, nothing fancy. Hopefully the, the photos turn out. We're gonna take a look. As far as what we're going with camera-wise, this is the digital camera that we own. It's a Canon. EOS Rebel T5. Um, this was actually a camera that Jen got when she got out of high school, I believe. Uh, we've had it ever since. We just kind of casually take pictures with it every so often. However, we're probably going to be using this quite often. It's just my iPhone. It's a iPhone XS Max, and the pictures on here are great. Portrait mode, uh, everything else with editing. That's likely what we're going to be using for most of our photos. And then for our editing needs, we don't have a laptop that can edit photos or anything like that. I will be using the 9.7 inch iPad sixth generation. And you'll see me do that. little model was getting fussy so we're gonna wait until she falls asleep that way we can get some better shots so we've taken a few pictures the nursery is now torn apart but one thing I actually had to adjust here is I actually clipped a flashlight to a GoPro mount put a white onesie on as a diffuser and just use a refrigerator clip to keep it there. It's working. It gives us a little bit more light in this little area. It's kind of hard to not hit shadows. So hopefully I can adjust some of that in, in the editing. But then I've got this, um, an old tripod that I use, another flashlight clip to it with a refrigerator clip and just a white onesie, just for some light diffusion. phone 
to the camera. And if this doesn't say that we're bootstrapping this project, I don't really know what will. This is great. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm really happy with this. Oh my gosh, this project is ridiculous. All right, you guys, so now that the actual photo shoot is done, it's been a few days, I'm gonna work on editing those photos. Um, so all I'm using to edit is I actually have my iPad sixth generation here. Um, the, I, this is from 2018. It's the model I bought to update my old iPad 3. Yes, the third generation iPad. Um, I bought this to kind of replace that. Uh, I didn't think I was willing to shell out the big bucks for a pro model, so I decided to get the sixth generation. And that's what we're gonna be working off today. I'm gonna be doing all of my edits on here. Um, I'll have a recording of the screen. I'm gonna try and put it up over my face so that way you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna be working out of Lightroom. Um, now, I've only ever done two projects on Lightroom. I did the announcement of Scarlet, and I did the gender reveal invitations. So those are the only two experiences I have with this program. Um, I'm very new to it. I am by no means a professional photographer or professional photo editor, um, but we're going to see what we can do. Okay, so first things first, I actually want to make sure I have all the photos available to me. Um, now what I was actually doing is I was taking photos with both my cell phone and the camera. So there's a lot of photos on my iPhone here that I need to get on my iPad so I can have everything in one place. So what I'm gonna do for that is I am just going to airdrop all of the photos into my iPad. So to get all of the photos into my iPad, I'm just gonna go into my Photos app. I'll find the pictures of her that I want. Um, some of these are gonna be from Jen. Others are gonna be the ones that I took. Uh, so I'm just gonna try and select as many as I can here. Pro tip, if you just hold down, gently and start scrolling up. You can actually just keep selecting the photos. And this is gonna be a lot. I'm definitely not gonna use all of these, but I do want them all in one spot so I know what I'm working with here. So I've got 127 photos selected. Again, that's, that's way too much. I'm not gonna edit 127 photos. Um, and I know a lot of these aren't good. So we're gonna go ahead and move them over to the iPad with AirDrop. Preparing over. Now to get the photos that I took off of the SD card, I'm actually, I've actually got a series of dongles set up here. Um, I'm gonna do a full walkthrough on kind of how I work off of the iPad. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, I'll leave the links to everything I'm using down in the description below, from my iPad to this pen, to the dongle setup that I've got. Um, everything's gonna be in a link down below. It is gonna be an affiliate link, so uh, it does support the channel. So I'm just gonna plug this in to basically a USB dongle that I have. There it is. So it popped up as no name. It's just an old SD card, so it's not named or anything like that. Um, I did go through and test it first, and I created a folder with just named Scarlet um, because there's a lot of lot of old pictures on this camera that we needed to sift through. So if you click on that, uh, we've got all of the photos in here that were taken from the camera. And it's another 150. So all in all, I took 277 photos. That's crazy. I'm, I'm hoping to get like 12 out of here. So from there, I'm just gonna open, go ahead and open up Lightroom. Uh, I don't have any sort of Adobe subscription at this point. This is all just their free programs. All right, so now that I'm in Lightroom, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the add photos, and then I'm going to select from files, the Scarlet folder that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna hit select. I'm gonna select all and open. 
All right, 150 photos successfully imported. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the camera roll and I am going to just select, okay, add those photos as well. Great, now we're up to the full 273 photos. Now what I'm gonna do is just walk you through whatever my process is gonna look like on this. I might do one or two photos with you. I'm not gonna keep the video for all that I decide to do because that would make this video far, far too long. Um, it's just gonna be a real quick edit. So let's pick one here. I really like these ones that we did in the bucket. Um, we did them in a bucket with a little sign that Jen had made from the hospital. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and pick one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. So I'm actually just gonna hit the auto button, see what it does. Brings it up a little bit, but I'm not a fan of how it edited, it, uh, how it edited um, the adjustments here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring up the temperature of everything just a few notches, just a few notches just to kind of even everything out. Sorry about the barking, dogs are upstairs. So the tint, I'm just editing a little bit. I wanna bring out more of the pinks rather than the subdued greens and yellows that are going on in this photo. So I'm trying to kind of lightening it up a little bit. I'm just gonna play with the vibrance, just a touch. And that's, honestly, you guys, like I said before, I'm not, at all a professional photo editor. So all I am doing is playing around with the different options. Don't know all the ins and outs of these programs. I'm not one that's gonna be able to teach you what all of this means. I just wanna show you what I'm doing by myself. And I wanna walk you through that process, my process. And my process is not gonna be professional photography level, and I understand that. Um, but this is something you guys can do on your own if Maybe you just wanna save a little bit of money and take your own pictures. Um, maybe that's an option for you. So let's move into effects. I think I actually wanna take the texture down a little bit. The reason I wanna do that is because that backdrop that we have on here, it's actually a um, comforter. So you can see it's a little bit quilted and I wasn't a huge fan of that, um, but it's what we have. So this is, pretty much what I've got on this photo. And I'm, I'm liking it so far. All right, so I actually like this photo. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Now we've got that photo. I'm actually doing right now because I wasn't able to figure out ways to duplicate um, some filters that I like. I'm actually jumping over to another free app I have on my phone called Darkroom. So I've used Lightroom before. Um, and I've never used Darkroom before, uh, so I thought this was gonna be a good opportunity to test it out. I wanted to show you guys that there are really good photo editing apps, at least for my skill set, really good photo editing apps for free on an iPad. And everything that I'm doing, again, I'm doing this on the sixth generation iPad. Um, so it's a couple of years old, it's not the pro model. The screen on it though is fantastic. I'm able to run pretty much anything I want. I do need to have some dongles set up. I need to get things um, kind of organized a little bit better. However, with all of this set up, I'm able to process these photos how I want to. I do not have a professional level computer. Uh, in fact, outside of any work computer, ours is probably 10 years old and hardly turns on. So this iPad is our main computing. It's our main computer. It's what we do everything on. Um, and so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to do all of my edits on this iPad. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna cut it off here. You got to see a couple uh, edits, a couple different photos. You got to see me kind of fumble my way through them. This video is the beginning of a new direction on this channel. Um, my channel is a lot of, as you guys know, if you've seen me before, workouts and things like that, trying to broadcast and uh, document my weight loss journey, but I wanna take it into a slightly different direction moving forward. Um, and this is gonna be the start of that. I wanted to document us taking photos. This is a crazy time in history. Now we are not able to hire any sort of photographer to come out and take any photos of our baby. So we had to do it ourselves. And I did so off a camera that we've had for since 2012. Um, my iPhone, I'm editing them on my sixth generation iPad. Uh, the lighting that we set up, I know I had, I showed you guys the box light. 
the flashlights Olight Baton Pro. I put a white onesie over top of it to try and diffuse it. And that was our lighting. That's what we worked with. Uh, a cheap $20 box light off Amazon and an, a Baton Pro flashlight. Everything else I have, I'm using this pen, everything linked up down in the description below. They are gonna be affiliate links, so they do help me out at no cost to you. Um, but if you wanna do this, if you just wanna try, if you have a young child or a newborn, or if you're expecting a newborn along the way, and you wanna test your skills out, maybe pick up some of these items and see what you can do. I am gonna go into this deeper into a future video, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. But an iPad in today's day and age for most people is gonna be more than enough power and more than enough computing for what you need, even doing a high volume of photo editing like this. I, I firmly believe that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely different. It's not, it was not our first choice. We're kind of making do with the cards we were given. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in some headphones, edit more of these and see what we get. And hopefully we have some good results. And hopefully we're happy with these newborn pictures. The ones I'm looking at already, one of my favorites of the whole thing. So being that I saw that and I know I like it, I know we're gonna have a ton of pictures in this pool that are gonna be great and that I can use and edit and move forward with. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, remember, we're all in progress in everything that we do.